Hi all and welcome into this BMW iRacing event. Um, we are doing the BMW Challenge 12.0, 12 minute fixed race around Silverstone. The Grand Prix layout, um, I'm British but this is not my track. Um, qualifying I should have done better, theme of the channel. However, my race pace is going to be a bit better. I can do low 158, so whether I can do that in the race is a another story. Um, I could have done with a little bit more practice at the track. As I say, I should be better, but this is just not my favourite circuit, unfortunately. I mean, I love watching it on the telly, and uh, it's one of my favourites um, as an event. But for me, it just doesn't suit me. There's a lot to hook up, um, possibly needed more time. But we're getting near the end of the week for the uh, series for my current season, so I need to get F3 race done. Obviously, I need to get this done. F3 race done, and I really want to get back to Skippy. I've got real pace in uh, Road Atlanta, and... Um, Hoping to pick up a win or at least the top three. Like, I feel like I've got good pace there. That's the end of the session. 13th place. 13th. Right, the reason uh, there's quite a few people not setting times, even though this is a 1.6 SOF, is uh, there's lots of off-track opportunities here. And it's the sort of track where the off-track can actually gain you an advantage. Um, so they get difficult to juggle. All right, let's grid up. Okay, so... Um, Bear with me one second. So obviously we do our um, rolling start, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is what it is. I'm enjoying the series. This is a fantastic car, by the way. Like, really loving the car. Um, when I'm weighing up next season, I might take this car to the uh, Le Mans series, the LMS. Uh, I've been looking at the VRS GT series as well. We'll see. This is going to be a little bit shorter than the 60 minute Mazda race we just took part in for the um, stress test. This is a 12 minute fixed event, as I said. Track temperature is pretty good. It's probably going to drop as well as the race progresses. People burning fuel. That's the one thing of a fixed event. If you hold a throttle down, you can actually burn some fuel off. That 24.3. There you go, 24.29. But it's so negligible, it's not worth it. Go. So, I haven't got raw pace here, so my aim is to keep it clean, follow the fast guys, make positions up where I can, and do nothing stupid. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, good luck, all. Follow car number Let's uh, keep it clean, first lap, show. <laughs> I like Rick's idea. So I've been able to crank a little bit more performance out of the uh, sim, although it seems to be hurting my FPS right now. But um, we'll see, it's an ever-evolving channel, I'm always looking to make things better, whether it's the field of view. What I should focus on soon is the driver, you know, the driver that wins, consistent top threes, but that's not something I can just put a CPU on. Got carnage already. I thought the rolling start would be longer than that, I wasn't really paying attention. Wow, some fast guys in here. This is my first time round here. It's my first time taking part in this uh, combination, actually, ever. Right. And I'm Hold your line. no pro at Silverstone, I'm afraid. Alright, kept it clean there. up till here. Saw that last minute. Dot com. Crikey. These are a long boys. These car. It's frightening seeing it like that. This is fun. It's the first time I've ran this close to anybody at this track in this car. It's a long old lap as well. Slightly shorter for the fast guys. They're doing like 156s. That I cannot do. It 
Let's get some of that toe. Left side. Still there. Still there. Clear left. I think he thought better of it, but he's going to make his own dive now down the inside. Car left. Still there. Clear left. All right, David. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. What a car this is, if I've not said that already. And I say, this is a fantastic track, like, I'm not, um... I've got no insults. The biggest problem with this track is it's, uh... It's me. I like the standings and track map decided to load in. This is a reconnaissance race. Learn where to be fast, follow the guys, learn overtaking manoeuvres. It's now. difficult to learn all this stuff in practice. That's why I'm excited for iRacing to add more of the AI content. You know, it's not something I'm going to look to you know, do full time, but it's good to work on your race car, well, race craft at certain events in certain cars, you know. This is a long Three circuit, it's very difficult to learn down. side by yeah. side. Where you can hold it, where's dodgy, where's safe overtaking manoeuvres, where you're quick to overtake, where you're not. You know, end of the day as well, you don't want to make an overtaking manoeuvre that costs you a lot of time. There you go, that's the off tracks I'm talking about. Both those cars did that, very easy to be done. I think we caught the guy here last lap. He's just not great at that combination. Side. Problem is I'm not great at the combination after, that's where he got me. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear left. That's one, mate. Okay. Let's try and make it stick this time. The leader has just done a 158.28. I think that was an off. I just saw to the left. Did we just avoid an off track? We did. The guy in front is Broomfield. No chances here. Let's make sure we can take him. Near level. Francisco behind seems quick. Obviously we've overtaken him a few times and he's overtaken us a few times. Bruno behind is um, there's a nice gap building there, so at least so far. Thanks again everyone for the likes, subscribes, comments. Can't see if you're hitting the bell notification, but thanks to the ones that are everything. Advice, criticism, everything. Taking it on board, learning, trying to better myself. There's no ignorance here, I am not one of the fast guys that I describe. Skippy Road Lantern Short? I'm not saying I'm a fast guy. I'm saying I can stay with them. <laughs> They're still the faster guys than me. But they don't run away anymore. I, I feel really good there. I've only done it once. It was my first time there. But in practice, really getting my lap times down. I would tell you what my lap time is, but I honestly can't remember right now. It's been a while since I've run it. Whoa. Big old car, but sometimes it can get a bit slippy. There's a lot of weight, I suppose, to redistribute. At tight angles. Okay, David. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. I don't know if Francisco behind made a mistake, but we pulled out a bit of a gap there. Let's try and catch the guys in front. Feels crazy to only be doing six laps here, and that's a race, but you forget it's a long, long, long track. Oh, that was not good. Car 
far left. He's still there. Clear left. And that's helped Bruno behind catch as well. Alright, head down. We know where he's slow. He seems to be slow in the same point every race. Every every lap. Well, I assume it is every race as well for him. The problem now is all this fussing about. Bruno's caught us. Thanks, Spotter. Nice battling with this guy. Let's hope Bruno can uh, start holding him up now. Okay, David. Don't let this guy distract you. Yeah, really, guys. Thanks for all the support. It uh, means a lot to me. It's motivated me to do this a lot more, and it's been fantastic. I'm working hard to better everything. Funding-wise, there's a lot of upgrades I want to make to my rig and to the recording quality. I set up a Patreon page. I'm not going to tell you guys to go donate, but because I'm going to do it no matter what. You guys don't need to donate. I'm still going to buy it all. It's just going to take time, but it's there if anyone wants to help out. I would love all this to be 4K, you know. Uh, highest refresh price pop there. Highest refresh rate possible, everything. And obviously the content in iRacing costs. The cars, the tracks. So every end of every season I have to weigh up what I'm going to invest in. Man, I need to be better there. Great battle with Francesco so far. Francesco. I'm terrible at names, guys, so... If you watch the video back and I've said your name wrong, that's why. I know my name and a few others. Plus, obviously, okay, I never actually spend that much time reading. I'm glancing and I say the thing that pops into my head based on the arrangement of letters that I saw. Call it two laps left. Big off track behind, it might actually be a slowdown. But I'm going to focus forward. That's another thing I didn't mention, it's very easy to get slowdowns here. Gap to Sarah, ahead is now 1.8 seconds. Sarah, cool name. We're a little bit slow out of there. long bend there. It's very easy to let the car slide and lose it. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Right, if I didn't know any better, so we're catching this small gaggle ahead. Maintaining a good gap to the guys behind. P11. That was a 2. Zero, zero, point seven. The guys in front might have more rape, raw pace than me, but obviously they're doing some close knit battling. Which means there's positions going. If they get into each other or just generally slow each other down over lap after lap. But I assume we will see in the white flag at the end of this lap. I think we're catching them. And the gap behind just increased, so we hopefully are going to see the white flag and see what I can do about these guys ahead. I think the guys behind are battling. Perfect. Oh, 
Sarah's got a big run on Tom. And Tom's either got a custom paint job or he's missing the trunk. I'm not close enough to tell, unfortunately. Either the tyres are getting warmer or I'm getting a bit better at this track. I'm feeling a lot smoother. There's that white flag I wanted. Don't do anything stupid, David, please. Let them do something stupid. One more to go. That lap was at 159.75. I assume Tom's holding up Sarah. <sighs> oh, what to do? Back off and uh, watch or try and get in it? Just do not want to be get caught up in it, their madness if it happens. I'm not saying they're going to be mad, they've drove a brilliant race. In the first part of the race, they seemed like the faster pair than me. Right, we've really dropped the guys behind now. Three and a half seconds. I think I changed my braking zone. I could be wrong. I almost got into the back of Sarah. Well, I saw an off track. I wonder if a guy in front has just been disqualified. I don't really know to cross the line because I can't concentrate. Tenth position. That's the end of the race. Never mind. <sighs> Never mind. Spot where I'm happy with that, mate. Whoa, let's get out of the car. Ah, oh, one second. I'm pleased with that. That was um, my first time here. It's looking like positive high rating. We'll see how many championship points we got. Let's take a look at that beginning. I think I got a little bit caught uh, napping. Wow, it's weird to see six laps, uh, seven laps there. Um, Let's do it from a view from outside the car. Bear with me. I need to save a decent uh, camera angle. Yeah. yeah, well, I was actually on the bend when it happened. I think we zero X'd. Silverstone in a BMW. We had plenty of side-by-side -side action. Yeah, well, that curb really cost me there. Woo! I was a bit pedestrian at the beginning, it's seeming. Yeah, I was, yeah, as I say, like I said before, I'm not feeling glued up at this track. I was looking to get a lap done, get some heat through the tyres. I just don't want to get involved in anything on lap one. I don't know if you've run iRacing, but I'm sure the I racers now out there. Lap one, man. It's a magnet for accidents. Absolute magnet. So I found... I mean, I shouldn't be this pedestrian, but I was struggling lap one and two for sure, definitely. I, I wasn't feeling in my groove. I always had a car to the side of me. Once the race progressed, we really... Um, we really found our speed. Yo! <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, it sounds like a few people was, was, were not so lucky. One, two. That might have been a bit off screen for you, let me see.
So we just make it pass. One, two, three, four, four cars. Right, we're in the moments for us to look at. We had some fun battles with Francesco. Francesco, I'm not sure. I know, um, we kept it so uh, consistent and mundane. There's nothing really to show on the replay. Um, let's go see what it's done to our um, high rating and safety rating. Yes, I really wish to quit. All right, bear with me. Let me pull up the results. Oh, randomly opened Photoshop. That's not what I intended. Okay, apologies. All right, BMW race results: fifteen eighty four strength for field, championship points fifty one. That will do. I'll come back to it. Um, we did not use any incidents. We gained four I rating and zero point one safety. So B three point four safety and sixteen oh five I rating. I'm happy with that. I uh, learned a lot. Um, the track's a lot wider than you realise. You can do a lot of side by side. You just got to be um, you know, keep an eye on your peripherals. But no, I am pleased and proud of that. And once again, guys, I have said this too many times, but thank you very much. The support is giving me the drive to get this done, do it as much as I can. I've got lots more races planned. I'm going to jump in an F3 very soon. Well, I need to practice first, maybe an hour. Um, and then I'm going to get that skippy done. And I'm going to be in it to win it. I'm going to gun it. I'm going to do my best. All right, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to hear when I do a video, bell notification. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.